Hey, the moment, friends! Ending here for another episode of the Epic Story. When we last left off, we were getting ready to go to Glywine's map and learn of what is going on with the Rangers in the second interlude. So let's go ahead and do just that. Your eyes drawn west across the map, beyond the borders of Rohan, and comes to rest upon the rocky hills of Dunland. You wonder what has become of Saturday and the Grey Company since you left them. All right, well, let's go find out. Uh, da da da. Here we go. Meanwhile, in Inidwyth, Saradain brings a wagon of his fallen brothers north for one last journey. All right. Well, let's go right into it. So yes, they are making their way back. It seems, at least, getting ready to. Okay. Rangers really have a tough life. <laughs> Their whole journey is just this huge disaster to help Aragorn. But, I mean, they do have to rush pretty quick. Meanwhile, Cyridon of the Dunedain travels north with the bodies of his fallen brethren, mm. determined to lay them to rest. I'm sorry I have made us stop, Saradain, but something is not right. Do you feel it? I feel the chill in my very bones. I've not felt such a dread since... I wish not to say. Right, and here shudders. We have driven this wagon with our fallen brothers this far already. We have much farther to go yet. But I want to set my mind at ease before we proceed. Do you agree? Then walk with me for a short way. We will not go far. All right, we are going to take off world chat out of here because very annoying when you're doing video stuff. Sardang, walk this way with me, if you will. You know what? I actually will walk, buddy. The chill intensifies. Do you, do you feel that? Yes. Stay alert, Sardane. Don't worry. I'm so alert right now. I mean, I'm in walk mode. You can't be much more alert than that. Never in walk mode. Oh, hello. <laughs> Everybody. Oathbreakers! Oathbreakers of the Forsaken Road! A lot of them. Okay. Stay back, faithless ones. I will not tell you again. Saradain, ready yourself. We have seen how little honor these shades possess. If the pup reaches into the fire and is burned, who is to blame? The pup or the flame? Hey, hey. I offer you no words of contradiction, Dunedain. If you seek out men such as we are, you deserve any ill that befalls you. Learn from the lesson, and put your trust in those who deserve it. We abandon the mountain, thinking to escape the chain of our suffering. But there was no escape from it. There was no end to our days, no relief from the night. Only fools stumbled upon us, and those paid their lives. If you seek the dead, only death awaits you. But my people learned from yours that our curse may yet be lifted. If an heir to a Seodor lives still, as your kin pretended, the glimmer of that hope may be rekindled. We love you not, but we will not stay this night. We return to the mountain. We will not come this way again. To the mountain we return, to await the ending of our curse, if such a thing may be. Yeah. Okay, heebie-jeebies time. 
I did not think to encounter those dead men again, Saturday. Many of our friends and brothers were slain at their hands. How many went beneath the earth along the forsaken road, and did not return into the daylight? Good men, all of them. Radnir pauses, and you can read his thoughts on his face, as plain as day, even in the gloom of night. The Oathbreakers have abandoned the Forsaken Road, Sardane. Now is the time for us to return there, and rescue the bodies we were forced to leave behind. We must bring them back above ground, and to the wagon of our fallen. We must do this at once. Let us go, and quickly. Okay, here we go. I think we can probably go off mock mode. This place holds many painful memories, Saturday. Let us find the bodies of our fallen kinsmen and leave as quickly as we are able. The Oathbreakers may have gone, but there could be other dangers along the Forsaken Road. Rats! Oh gosh. Are we doing Indiana Jones now? Alright, come on. No, Saturday night. I mean it. Rats! Alright. We must save a fallen kin from the rats, Saturday. They deserve better. I agree. Alright, come on, Radnir. You'd think the rats would be afraid of the dead, too. I don't know why there would be rats in here. That seems kind of lore-breaking. But maybe not. Maybe rats like undead things. Vile things. Indeed. You almost sound evil there, right now. Alright. Let's go. Long way down. What are skills anyway? Quick stab. Wide sweep. Dunadine strike. Six second stun. Awesome. And make your own luck. Sardane's unusually lucky, especially as a Dunadine. Blah 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 blah. Common damage and minus 50% melee damage. Cool. Sardane. Five of our kinsmen did not emerge from this place. Find where they are. Find each of them. And we will begin carrying them to the wagon. Watch out for the rats. Yeah, no kidding. Right, yes, very sad indeed. You gaze upon the fallen form of Hodorn, and think the delight upon his face each time he recovered a curious artifact from the ruins of a Numenos. Many were the nights you spent warming yourself by the fire, while Kalinglad explained to Hodhorn the historical significance of the artifact he had found, and the memory brings a smile to your face, even now. The Grim Road should not be his tomb. You and Radnir will see to it that the rats at long last... Then, oh, gosh. You'll see it that he rests at long last along the shores of Nuniel, that he so loved. Hodon lived in service to the Grey Company, and fell upon the Forsaken Road. I mean, it's literally months back to there, so the bodies are going to be disgusting when we get back. Rats or not. Alright. Do you imagine if we go past, like, go through Bree on the way back? Which we probably would, based on the route. And, like, talk to Butterbur <laughs> with the dead bodies. Oh, that would be so terrible. I really hope that we can revisit their tombs when we go back to Evendim. That would be awesome. Alright, lots of dead rangers ahead.
really sad quest, in all honesty. Calithil kept to himself, and in that way he was much like Aragorn, your chieftain. He strode often in the Trollshaws neath the moon, and it was he who introduced Radnir to the Aelweth at Thornhad. He used to jest that he did not... Uh, that he did it only to make things difficult for Radnir. He will rest more easily beneath the trees, perhaps a stone's throw from the sound of Loudwater. Cathil lived in service to the Grey Company and fell upon the Forsaken Road. Hmm. Alright. Sad times for all. So how do we go? Lenor was well known to you, for he lived on the Bree Fields and often visited your cabin to share a meal and the news. He was generally well regarded by men and Bree Hobbit alike. And it was Linear, Lenor, who helped Burl Pearson construct the frame for his farmhouse south of Bree Town. So that's how he got even that far along. Okay. Lenor did not rage as he as far afield as many of your kin. And his decision to join the Grey Company was not an easy one. You hope he knows, somehow, that his service was for nothing. Not for nothing. <laughs> oh my. You and Radnir will make sure that he is laid to rest among the comfortable hills of his home. Lenor lived in service to the Grey Company and fell upon the Forsaken Road. You gaze upon him, Mildir's face with deep sorrow. For you remember how much he argued against coming to the Forsaken Road. He believed the words of Agathorn should not be trusted, and thought seeking beneath the earth for hourless, for the honorless ones, to be a foolish journey. He spoke of it to you in private, and shared his concerns with Canadith. But in the end, he agreed to walk the Forsaken Road. From that point onward, you heard no complaint from him, and he descended bravely. I am sorry, Himmel dear. You whisper to the fallen form. Be at peace, my kinsman. We will not leave you here. Himmel dear lived in service to the Grey Company and fell upon the Forsaken Road. All right, final one here. Man, that is... That is tough. All right. This place has more rats than anything. What are they even eating? If it were me, Canadine, I might not have tried telling falsehoods to the undying shades of traitors. <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry, my friend. Hmm. Canadith was dear to you, and you still keenly feel the pain of his loss. He often came to visit your cabin on the Bree Fields, and many were the nights the two of you spent in quiet conversation about the events of the day. The conversation became more serious and more grim as the shadows deepened in Middle-earth. But your favorites will always be those that were full of smiles and laughter. We came back for you, my brother. We should not have left you here for even one day. Forgive me, Canadine. Your words hang in the air. 
Canadite lived in service to the Grey Company, and fell upon the Forsaken Road. I am ready for us to carry our fallen brothers outside, Sardine. Let us not delay. They have remained in this terrible place for too long already. All right, man. That is... Whew, such an involved quest. All right. Really tough to be a ranger in Middle Earth, especially at this time period. So much loss. And I love how Glywine's map is the thing that's telling the story. Because, I mean, yes, we are glancing across the map and all that, but Glywine's also a minstrel, so he would probably be telling this story anyway. If he knew it. Oh, apparently it's already completed. Okay. I wish those gave XP. That would just be be perfect. Alright, well, thank you guys so much for watching another episode of the Epic Story. When we return, we will head towards Glearwine's farm of old. But till then, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again real soon for another episode of the Epic Story. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the like button below. And if you'd like to see more of my daily content, feel free to subscribe, and you'll be notified when that new content comes out. And also, if you'd like to help support my channel and help me continue to create high-quality videos, feel free to support me on Patreon, and you can get all sorts of great rewards in the process. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again real soon for another video.